up? Today I'm going to do a little book review. The book I'm going to review is The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. But first I'm going to summarize the book. So there was a girl named Hazel. She has lung cancer and she's 16 years old. And she looks a little something like this. She attends weekly support group because her mom makes her. That's where she met the love of her life. His name is Augustus Waters. He also has cancer, but it's with a name that I can't pronounce. He's 17, and he looks a little something like this. I know what you're thinking, but he doesn't smoke because it's a metaphor. How they met is because of Isaac. Isaac is Augustus' best friend and also a friend of Hazel. Isaac has eye cancer. Wish he will go blind in a few days, maybe weeks, in the book. And I'm guessing he's probably 17. And he looks a little something like this. So Hazel and Augustus keep on um, chatting with each other like every day on the phone. They also changed their favorite book. So Augustus is reading Hazel's favorite book, which is called An Imperial Affection. And Hazel is reading one of Isaac's graphic game novels which Hazel likes after reading it since they have cancer they have cancer perks and they also have a wish sadly Hazel used hers when she was first diagnosed when she's 13 it was a trip to Disney World but Augustus saved his but being a romantic guy he is Augustus decided to give his Wish to Hazel. Hazel always wanted to meet the author of her favorite book, which is Peter Van Houten. I don't know how to pronounce his last name. So Augustus used his fish to help Hazel meet their favorite author. But sadly, he is a sad total douchebag who has no interest in meeting his fans. But his assistant, Lee V, sent an email telling them that they could visit him. But since the visit went totally wrong, Lee V decided to take them on a museum tour in Amsterdam. That's where they had their first kiss. Then afterwards, they did it. But sadly, after the trip, Hazel found out that Augustus is not well. As a total plot twist master, John Green is. He threw the saw to make us think that Hazel was a grenade the whole time and Augustus will end up being heartbroken. But total plot twist, Augustus was the one that was a grenade the whole time and Hazel was going to end up heartbroken. So later in the story, Augustus decided to have a pre-funeral. Since, you know, who doesn't want to miss their own funeral? But only Hazel and Isaac attended the pre-funeral. That's when Hazel gave like the best romantic eulogy ever. But I'm gonna show you Isaac eulogy first. Here's Hazel. But sadly, Augustus died eight days after his pre-funeral. After he died, Hazel was a total wreck. Well, that, that's what happened when you're in love. So Peter has attended Augustus' funeral to tell Hazel that 
Augustus has written a seagull of a fairy book for her, but Hazel has to find it. So Augustus has sent his seagull to Peter to read it. Lisa V has found it, so she wrote a letter back to Hazel explaining. So here is the sequel, or letter, whatever you like to call it. Well, that was the end of this book. Now it's time for the book review. So, The Fault in Our Stars was one of my favorite books. I read it like six times already, but sadly I haven't seen the movie yet. So, The Fault in Our Stars is a romantic novel for young adult readers. So, if you're looking for a book like Romeo and Juliet, or a really romantic novel, then you should read The Fault in Our Stars. I highly recommend 
updated this book for those who are looking to cry. But who wanted to be drowned in so much feels of emotion. It's a really sad book, I tell you. But it's also one of the greatest romantic novels of this time. So if you're looking to cry for like a few weeks or so, then I highly recommend you to read The Bart and the Stars by John Green. You won't regret it. Maybe you will after you finish. But still, it's a really great book. Enjoy your feels! Well, that's all for now. See you guys next time!